going back, Mumbari, do you remember where you were when you watched this movie? Do you remember what was happening in your specific life? Very personally. So I do remember seeing it. And I remember this literally, everyone talked about this movie for probably like a month. Yeah. Straight. Um, yes. It was wild because you, you like almost, this was such a big movie yes. at the time. Yeah. And I have to give it to you before the rewatch. I forgot. Like I had a vague sense of a lot of scenes. But the thing is, what I was saying before is, it's it's like it's not a rewatchable as a full movie, but like I've gone on YouTube a bunch of times and just banged out some clips. Of, yes, and yes. this this might hurt it a little bit, but I actually think Borat the character is better than Borat the movie because when he goes on like there's some clips of him going on like Letterman or like oh uh, yeah yeah or, like, yeah UK shows as Borat, and I think that those those clips are way funnier than anything in the movie. Quintessential reason that I think you. We picked this, or I wanted this movie to be in the in the Millennial Classics podcast, is because you said it. It was such a big deal at the time. Yeah. I mean, that's all it needs to be to be a Millennial Classic, and that's why we're talking about it. Number one, number two. You're right. Yes, if you watch that Ali G show, right? And I found the Ali G show after watching this movie, and and in the Ali G show, he does the different characters. Or if you even just go on YouTube and watch all of Sasha Baron Cohen's skits and stuff, he does all of those crazy things. Yes, he goes on all of those Letterman shows and uh, Jimmy Kimmel and whatever. But he also had like these full on length. He goes on. No, I'm talking about like Anthony. for. Promo for promo for this movie when he oh and you said oh oh even better even better the surrounding goodness that this movie came with I goddamn it I, yes but to tell you guys where I watched this movie and where I was I was with my cousin his name is Samir and it's like we were super close back in the day um, uh, we went to elementary school together and everything um, before I moved to Newton and. Uh, I remember him and I watching this movie and we had to pause it at least three, four, five times because we were laughing so hard. My mom was yelling at us upstairs. And then that day, that day, we did not get to finish the movie because my mom said we were being so loud. Mumbari, we did not get to finish the movie. My mom said we were being so loud. The next day we tried to finish the movie. Do you know what scene we started to rewatch that movie in? The naked, the naked fight scene. No, we started to rewatch the scene at the movie when they were uh, what's it called when, when they were at the Jewish people's house. <laughs> <And> when they, <laughs> they yell that they've they've shape shifted into cockroaches. <laughs> Yo, my dad said, "Take this movie off and get it out of the house." <laughs> he said, "Take the movie off and get it out of the house." <laughs> This was back in the, the, the blockbuster day. So we were hurt. Like we were said, please yeah. let us finish. Please let us finish. I remember it so clearly. It was like the most heartbreaking thing ever. We, I didn't actually get to finish the movie till like a week later, right? So um, I definitely remember where I was the first time I watched this movie. And I loved every fucking second of it. I remember hating my parents. I hated my parents for not letting me finish this movie. Like, it, it, like that, maybe that's because there's so much emotion that sticks with me when it comes to this movie. Maybe that's why I like it so much. 